Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Been trying to get all of you all night. We haven't talked in months, but that's alright. Was wondering if you wanted to go for a drive. I just need some fresh air and an old friend. I'm so glad that we started talking again. Yo, turn up the radio. I love this song. Remember when we used to stay up all night long? How's it been going? Oh, how's it, mom? The world is so empty. This is so damn gone. Good morning. Oh, it's noon time. And welcome to day number two in Berlin. Um, so far we have walked for over an hour to say, but my phone says that we've walked for 12 whole minutes. Uh, we've seen we've seen all of the Berlin Wall, right? I no no, but in the area on the east side. Yeah, but the the part that there is down here. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we've seen some of the most popular pieces of the wall and there were so many people wanting to take pictures that it was kind of like in turn um, so yeah it's a beautiful day it should be pretty warm today so spring feelings are on and it's really really lovely we found this very peaceful area that's kind of like Christiania back in Denmark I think so it's very like behem, hippie, down to earth it's really cool and this is where we are at this is the view Good morning! It is day three in Berlin and we have woken up and it's now we're now on our way to the market at Mauer, Mauer Park, something like that. Um, so another day with like a blue sky. It should be a little bit colder today but hopefully it's gonna be fine because I'm wearing my scarf from Wonderlux of course. So yeah, we're heading out. But no nice. He people who no. Then I should then the. I know that I'm not doing a very good job vlogging today, but we have realized that Berlin, Berlin is kind of dead quiet there's not so much to do on a Sunday um so we're, at, we're actually struggling figuring out what we can do because it's pretty cold today as well the, sh the Sun has just come out in the morning I said that it was going to be a beautiful day and then everything changed and it got really cloudy and really windy and cold so we don't really know what we're gonna do if only you guys could like give us some suggestions now but it's kind of sad so we don't know what's gonna happen just gonna have to walk around and see but we just had i just had a hot chocolate milk and catherine had a coffee so we found a market after looking for something to do for a long time <laughs> We were just about to give up. We could not find any shops that were open or anything to do. The pizza place that we wanted to go, they're not open until four o'clock. But then we found this market that was actually, in our opinion, better than the one in Maro Park. Maro Park? Um, 
So I don't really know where it was, like, I don't know what it's called, this market. It's um, a Yeah, it's a Friedrichshan, uh, but the exact position or the name of it, I don't know. So now we're gonna try to see if we can find a building that should be like full of graffiti. Um, I just don't have an exact address of that either, only a street name. So uh, I'm crushing my fingers that it will be able for us to do. I did a cool. This is so cool, it was totally worth it. Trying to find it. And this is me, hopefully. In a year's time, this will be me driving around in that. And look at that, like a very new building, very modern building right next to this one that's covered in art. I love it. But it's I'm back in Denmark and I have been sick ever since I came back home. Maybe it's my body telling me that I should go back to Berlin. That would be nice because I really really liked the city. Since I'm not really on top I did have a few things about some like considerations and some things that I found weird about Berlin. I was going to share those in this video but since I am sick and I can't really breathe through my nose I've decided that I'm not going to share them in this video because I am just annoying to listen to so <coughs> instead I'm gonna say oh my god <coughs> so instead I'm going to say thank you so much for watching my Berlin vlogs the last like day two and day three I did not vlog that much because Catherine is not a YouTuber, so to give us some space to just experience Berlin without me vlogging everything, um, I kind of wanted to give that a chance as well. So therefore I did not vlog near as much on day two and three, but I hope that you enjoyed the content. Anyway, I'm just going to put in a bit of um, the content from me shooting the vintage pieces for this week's uh, drop on Wonderlux. So um, you can either end the vlog here or you can uh, watch that content, it's totally up to you. But thank you so much for watching this vlog, I had a, an amazing time in Berlin. I'm going to talk a little bit more about it um, in my next vlog. Some things that I found really strange that I want to share with you guys, so stay tuned for that. I need to blow my nose, so bye guys. <laughs> Hey guys, I am shooting vintage at my mom's today, as you might know, and uh, this is going to be the first dress that I'm showing you in this vlog because I've just shot another one, but that went live last week. So um, this is very cool, very 60s, and um, that's going to be the first piece. I'm going to show you some of the pieces that I shoot, and uh, yeah, let's get started. It's pretty cold today. But I am gonna get out there, shoot this now. So. I always take pictures first and then I make a short video, just a few seconds, to just like show the dress in a video style. I would love if I could actually put them up on the web shop so that instead of just pictures, the video file could be there as well. But I usually show them on uh, Wonderlux Instagram, so if you aren't following, I would definitely recommend that you do because I post these videos so that you can see the dresses in motion. And um, sometimes it's just cool to see them like that and not just on a still picture. So um, yeah, I'm just going to make a short, quick video of this one as well. I just took some pictures of this lovely dress. I actually really liked it. When I first looked at it, it looked really big. But that's one of the cool things about these dresses is that it might be a size bigger than the size that you usually use. But if you wear a belt, this can actually be worn from a size medium to a size extra large and it looks really cool. So I'm just going to put a clip on the screen of me wearing it. 
I think it looks really cool. And now I'm going to take pictures of this one. I don't know how I managed to put it on. It's very tight on my arms. It's definitely for a size, I would say, extra small to small. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I'm wearing it. Now we'll see if I can take it off again. It's actually very pretty. It's just very small on my arms. On my arms. I think this is a very cute dress and I love how I've styled it with a pair of glasses and a hat that is matching colors. This is also very, very cute. Very flowy and also fits very nicely. It's very cute and the fabric. Mm -hmm. I have been very curious about this dress. Oh my god. It's very bright. Ooh. It's a shame that it's a little bit too big on me. I would guess this is a size large. But look how beautiful. I immediately want to go to like a summer party. If I could fit into this. Like properly. Because I'm a little bit too small. Um, I could imagine keeping it. I think it's so cute. Shoulder pads might not like look super cool, but they're so soft. I like this. Feels super soft. It's also a very cute dress. Very cute. It's actually funny. This is one more of those who like this is the thing that decides what size it is. So I would actually have reckoned this would have been a size. I don't know, large, um, but because you can tie this, it looks perfect on me, I'm a size small to medium. So another cool dress that can fit more than just one size. We love that. And there we go, comes with a belt as well. So it looks like this. I think that's very cool. I actually really like this one. I have not filmed everything for you guys, but there's been quite a few dresses where I've been like, I want to keep those and this is another one because it's so cool it's just so cool okay I've made it through quite a lot of pieces by now and um, I still have a few dresses I still have a bunch of blouses um, let me just put this on and then that's gonna be it for this block based on just like the fabric this is one of the dresses I've been most excited about I was actually hoping that I wasn't going to like this because I really really like the fabric oh have I missed one no I really really like the fabric I think it's such a beautiful dress so now I really just want to keep it it looks very good on and I love these sleeves but that's gonna be it for this lock from just like showing you how this um, photo shoot of the vintage pieces went so um yeah, get back to the rest of this vlog and uh, yeah, check out one of the shop. They'll all be up when you see this. <laughs> Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And I'm going to see you all soon. Bye.